Just a quick recap on how to use the vices. All right, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So if we wanna open up a vise, we're gonna turn counterclockwise one time, and then we're gonna pick up on the handle and pull. All right, and that's how you open it. If you wanna close it, as long as you don't turn the handle the opposite direction, you can push it in as well. Once you have a piece of wood, you can go ahead and push the vise shut and then we're gonna tighten it down just like this and make sure you put some muscle and effort into it to lock it into place. And again, to loosen it, one time the opposite direction, pick up and pull it, just like that. All right, we're over here at the vise and the first type of screw attachment we're gonna do is in softwood and softwood would be your normal construction wood. Uh, sometimes white wood, pine, uh, poplar would typically be kind of a softer wood. Um, so we've got all these different things that we're going to use. Now, driving screws into this softer pine is really, really simple. We can skip one of the steps that you're going to see later when we do hardwoods. And we're already set up to go. So I've got my T25 bit that we're again going to insert into our driver. And I'm making sure it's set to forward. I've also got a pilot bit. So this drill bit is specifically chosen for one thing. When we take a look at a screw, first we have the screw head, and then we also have the shank, which is the part that has the threads, all right? And what we're trying to do is match the drill bit to the shank size, okay, or approximately. We don't want the drill bit to be larger than the threads or the screw won't have anything to stick to, okay, or to bite into, but we do wanna provide a little clearance for that shank. It just makes the screw go in easier and it has the added benefit of having the screw follow the hole, all right, when we drive it in, which makes it easier. When we go ahead and put our piece of wood on, we're gonna set up however we want our joint. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a hole straight down. Now, oftentimes what I see students doing is they're, they're looking and they're going, okay, I'm drilling a hole here. And you'll notice that the drill is really pointed at an angle. If I drill this hole down, it's gonna shoot out the side of the board. So you have to learn, and if you need a partner, have your partner spot you to keep it straight up and down. So I'm not tilted side to side, I'm not tilted front to back. It's a little bit awkward feeling until you get used to it. I'm gonna go ahead and drill a hole through this piece and down into my next one. Make sure you remove the chips on occasion. Just like that. And once we have our holes drilled, we're gonna select a screw and we're gonna go ahead and drive it right in. Now, I don't need to squeeze the trigger and just ram that thing through. I'm gonna blip it or tease it is the proper term. We're gonna tease it in. And all I'm doing is driving it in until it's flush, meaning it's even with the top. You don't wanna overdrive it because if you do, you actually suck the threads out of this bottom piece of wood and then you're gonna have to start over. Okay. Once you have one in, of course, if we need a second one or we have room for a second one, we can go ahead and do just that. Apologize for the camera shaking. So I'm gonna go ahead. If you are drilling and you don't have a strong wrist, this takes kind of a long time to develop, take your other hand and stick it on top of the drill to hold down. It also helps you control it. A lot of students will grab the battery, but you notice that this thing kind of flops around. Put your hand on top and push down. And we're gonna drill, take some chips out, Drill again, and there we are. And then I'm just gonna grab my second screw, and again, we're gonna tease it into place. And that's all that it takes, okay? And now we have a nice, secure connection in there. All right, now, if I mess up and I have to take a screw out, all I need to do is press this button, reverse, so the arrow's going backwards, and I'm gonna tease it back out. So start it, and just like that, the screw comes out. If you're ever drilling holes or driving screws and something isn't working, like the drill bit doesn't wanna go in or the screw doesn't wanna go in, it's very likely that this is set to reverse. Switch directions and try it again and it will probably work. Now, there are times when we're gonna use hardwoods instead of the softwood like pine. And when we use hardwoods, we can use the big construction screws like we were just using, or sometimes we're gonna use these smaller screws. These are number six wood screws. They're very similar. They're just, of course, a smaller size. And if we compare them, 
in size, you're gonna notice, of course, this one's a bigger diameter and has some more aggressive threads. So this is a number six and these are number eights, all right? So the bigger the number, the bigger the size. Now, when it comes to these screws, we've got an additional thing that we need to do. Number one, we're gonna select a pilot bit that's appropriate. So I've chosen this size bit, which is 1 16th, okay? And it's just slightly smaller than the shank, okay, or the smooth part. And that's okay, that's gonna work for us. We're gonna go ahead and chuck that in the drill. You have to be very careful with these small drill bits. They're very, very slender. They will snap very easily. So when you're using the drill, you don't wanna be flopping around or bending to the side. We also need an appropriate countersink. And this is the countersink. And what this does, again, is that creates that cone shape in the hole. And you'll understand why in a moment. We're gonna put that inside the driver. And we're gonna to prepare to attach our piece of wood. Now, I'm just gonna do an arbitrary joint here. So let's say we wanted to do that. Just like before, we're gonna drill a pilot hole straight down. With these smaller bits, it's even more important that you pop the chips out regularly. That's how you bind them and snap them if you're not careful. Okay, so we're through. Now, I've got my holes drilled, but before I drive a screw in, what we're going to do is we're going to countersink it. And all I need to do is push down with this cone-shaped bit, and I'm just trying to make a recess about the size of the screw head. So when I make that, I'm going to take a screw and see if the head fits in there, and it does. So that's good. We're going to get these all lined up. And then from there... I can change out my bit, and we want a T15, so a smaller Torx bit, and just like before, we're going to tease it into place. And that has a nice joint. Sometimes this piece is going to push up away. If it does that, try and blip it a few extra times or tease it a few extra times. It might pull itself back down. If it doesn't, take the screw out and figure out what's wrong and then go back. Okay. Now, just for fun, we're going to see if we can get this to split. So instead of drilling a pilot hole and putting in a, a countersink, I'm just going to drill the pilot hole in this side. Okay. So I've got my pilot hole. We're not going to put a countersink in. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and drive this screw right into it. And let's see what happens. No guarantees that this will happen. It doesn't always. And you'll notice as soon as I drove it down in, I've got this crack. That is why you want to put that little countersink in. So if we go back and do another one. Put our countersink in place. Just like that. I'm gonna change out bits again. We're gonna steal this screw by reversing it, and this time we're gonna drive it into that hole. And you'll notice now, I don't have any cracks in it. That is why you want to do a pilot hole and then do a countersink, especially in this harder wood. So this is a piece of cherry and I'm, I'm putting screws into a piece of maple. Maple is pretty hard right, and pretty dense. Okay. If you have any questions, by all means, ask me. Otherwise, uh, it takes a little practice to get the wrist motion down, but uh, enjoy uh, assembling your projects.